Hi everyone, it's Jody back here with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do 2018 January readings for all zodiac signs. Keep in mind that they are general readings. So if the message doesn't apply, maybe next time. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, and shared to my channel. You guys rock! If anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info will be in the box below. This reading is going to be for Virgo. Let's see what's shaken in January 2018. Five major arcana here. Virgo, what is going on? Let's find out at the bottom of the deck. Virgs, you got the Ten of Cups that riding that unicorn. Emotional fulfillment at its finest. If anyone is wondering, I am using my medieval cat tarot. Love these cards. But happiness, happiness is the goal here. So, let's find out how that applies here. Verbs. We're going to start off with Major Arcana. <laughs> Bang. Get the tower. Something that comes in so hard, so fast, it blows your mind. Never see this one coming. And what's crossed to help or hinder, which I don't know which one it will be, you've got the Page of Swords. The spy card. On the other side of the coin here, this could be, you know, a communication that comes in. But nevertheless, Virgs, either you're online and you're looking for info and you find something that just absolutely blows you out of the water. Or a communication comes in that again blows your mind. Hmm. Because in your foundation, here's your other major account. You get the fool. Now here's the beginning of the beginning. You know, taking a chance, taking a risk. You know, a leap of faith. Embarking on a new journey. And that being in your foundation leaves, leaves, Virgo, <laughs> You could have, or be dealing with Libra, air sign. I don't know what made me say that. But in your foundation, okay, maybe there was something you took a, a risk, a chance. Maybe you just wanted to be in a new direction. Be free. And what's crowning your whole reading is your third major arcana. Virgs, you have strength. Also known as the Leo card. You know, being courageous, being brave. You know, stepping into the unknown. And bringing it on. Now, these two cards here, you know, Virgs, maybe, you know, it took guts to set out on a new adventure, on a new path. Maybe it's this communication or it's something that you find out that really puts you in another direction. Hmm. Now, in your recent past, Virgs, you have your other major arcana Get the Wheel of Fortune. Now this could be Karma, because it is known as a Karma card. This could also be, you know, something being orchestrated behind the scenes. In the upright, this is good Karma. So, Virgo, this is like things falling into place, 
Maybe you think you're on a lucky streak. It's not luck. It was meant for you. But that was in the recent past. Now your happiness here and something comes in shocking. You might hear from somebody who's been maybe looking for you. It blew your mind. Or it's going to. In Virgo, I think you're going to come to a place where you need to make a decision. And probably a quick one about this thing that comes out of the blue. Because I think it's going to be a game changer. Now this could be something in the work environment. It could be something in your personal life. You know, a love ship, career ship. Because going into your future, here's your other major arcana. Get the Pope, also known as the Hierophant. Having faith, having hope, having a moral standard, doing things traditionally. Could be higher institutes of learning. But maybe, Vergs, this is the challenge. Do you think, do you do something traditionally like you've always been doing? And do something different. Maybe things have been going okay. Or pretty good. And bang. Something comes in and just, it rocks your, maybe your moral belief. Or the traditional ways that you do things. This could be pushing you outside of your box, out of your, your element maybe. Because how people see you, Virgo, in your environment, they see you as a three of wands reverse. Now, the, uh, the medieval cat tarot tells a little bit different story. Usually, the three of wands is somebody who takes a course of action and waits for their ship to come in. But, in this card, ship's in his hands. He says, periscope there. And he knows where he's going. He chose to make that course of action. He chose to make his own ship come in. But, this is in the reverse. This is kind of like not knowing where you're going. It's like something compromises you in your traditional way of doing things. <clears throat> It's like it, it draws you back to maybe not taking a course of action yet. This is, this is how people see you. Virgo, it's like you get this shocking news that comes in. And everyone's wondering, where are you going to go with it? What are you going to do about it? Virgo, what crowns the whole reading, remember, is strength. And you got it. Whatever that comes in, you know, that kind of blows your mind. Maybe shakes your faith a little bit. I think you do. After absorbing it, you're an earth sign. You'll find out. What course of action are you going to take? It's almost the feeling that I get is like you're contemplating. After you, you've absorbed this shock, whatever it is, this news that comes in, whatever you find out, you need to take it all in first before making a move. Now, Virgo, in your environment, You've got the Six of Wands. This is victory. 
Success. Overcoming a battle and being victorious. Coming back from a battle and being victorious. And it's in your environment. So whatever this is, Vergs, that comes in, this news, this shocking discovery, Vergs, maybe you have taken a different path on your own terms. And on this path, you know, whatever this is comes in and just blows you away. I think you're going to overcome it. Whether this is news that comes out of the, you know, the blue, a person comes out of the blue. I think after some consideration that you're going to be just fine. Because in your hopes and in your fears, Virgo, you have the Two of Swords. This is being indecisive. How people see you. After this shakeup. Now this could be somebody blinded. You know, they don't want to see the truth. But I'm not getting that. I think this is somebody who doesn't have all the info yet and doesn't make a decision. Well guarded. Until he gets that info. And can make a decision. Now nobody hopes to be indecisive about something. I think it's a fear that you might not know which way to go with this or how to handle this. Because Virgo, it's about your happiness. It's about your contentment. Right under that, it can help but see. Well, we got the Five of Swords, the conflict card. Now, this card, this cat, is turning someone away. There's no blood. Could be a heated argument. Somebody's right and he's turning away. Get to stepping. In Virgo, I can see, you know, you standing your ground, having the strength. Okay? To protect yourself after this news comes in. That's probably the first thing you need to do. You get a victory in this. And I think this victory will come when you use maybe a more subtle emotional approach to this. Maybe not being so brash. Because your outcome card here, Virgo. Did you see that? It's a king of cups. Now here is a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or somebody who takes on these qualities. This is somebody who does wear their heart in their sleeve, but you wouldn't know that because they keep their emotions well balanced. This is somebody who's very intuitive. So, Virgs, this might be the energies of either you have to take on to soften a blow here. Or this might be the person, king and queen don't matter, it's an energy, okay, that it's going to be very sentimental, emotional, about this news. Either way this goes, Leo. Leo, listen to me, because I'm looking at the strength card. Virgo, sorry. Virgo. You're going to need strength. You have the victory in your environment, in around you. You can pull this off. So whatever this is that comes in that T-bones you, this news, this message, or, you know, perhaps this person, this situation that gets you undecided. Virgo, stay grounded. And keep your emotions in check. Because victory is yours by doing this the right way. So, Virgo, that's what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, and sharing to my channel. And I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.